Hey everyone, so over the last week or so, Minimax, the free AI video generator that you can use like right now, has been popping up with a lot of really cool outputs. I spent a pretty good amount of time looking through all of those videos, uh, plus going through all of the documentation on Minimax, plus hanging out in their Discord. So I thought this would be a good time to put together a video on best prompt practices and some tips and tricks, including how to get consistent characters, sorta. So we're gonna go over all of that, plus I, I made a prompt builder for you. Okay, let's dive in and check it out. Now, as a quick FYI, for the time being, we are just talking about Minimax's Video 01 model. So it is just text to video for right now. Although Minimax has stated that image to video should be coming within a few days to a week. Also, I found out that Minimax is just six people. Yeah, that was surprising. Lastly, in terms of updates, the character prompt length has been taken up to 2000 characters, which I think it now holds the record for like the longest prompt that you can write in an AI video generator. Now, how much it listens to that prompt? Well, that's a whole other thing, but I do have an interesting finding that we'll go over in a little bit. So kicking off with basic prompt structuring, uh, what I basically did was went through all of the documentation on Minimax. Yes, it is in Mandarin. And no, I do not read Chinese. So all of this did have to be run through a translator. Uh, total side note, I tried running it through Gemini just because it has the much larger context window and it was surprisingly inaccurate. So yeah, I don't know, uh, another air ball from Google for me. Now, according to the documentation, the very basic prompt formula is a subject plus a scene or a space plus motion or changes. Main visual subject, of course, would be any like person or animal or uh, car. Scene or space is your location, anything from the mundane like a forest all the way up to like a space station on Mars. Motion and changes refers to any action that your character is taking or any changes that happen in the location environment. Say like you're in a warehouse and there's an explosion. That basic prompt is very much illustrated in our you know usual man in a blue business suit walking down a busy city street. That's why I use that prompt as a starter. Um, again, I am really impressed with Minimax's uh, commitment to background characters, uh, considering that we have this couple here, they walk behind our man in the blue business suit and continue on. That's something that a lot of AI video generators do not do. As soon as that couple pass behind him, they would essentially vanish. So uh, yeah, again, well done Minimax. So in terms of what Minimax calls out as an advanced prompt formula, uh, this is where we essentially get into the basic prompt formula, but we also add in camera movement. Camera movement obviously refers to anything from like panning in to zooming or handheld. To illustrate all of that coming together, the prompt here is the deep blue night merges with the city below. As the man gazes at the shimmering lights from a rooftop, the camera starts wide, zooming in slowly, highlighting the city's flicker against the dark night sky, panning to emphasize his solitude. I don't know, that prompt kind of reads like Radiohead lyrics, doesn't it? Obviously it did get the starts wide and zooms in backwards. That said, we uh, this shot is pretty good, so we could always just flip it in post if we needed to. One thing I did mention in our previous look at Minimax is how I'm really impressed with its like shot creativity. Uh, for example, I mean, just a very simple shot here, like a guy running on a beach and the fact that you're kind of getting like this, like tracking drone shot out of it. Yeah, that is pretty impressive. It also has some really good prompt coherence, for example, in this shot where, you know, we quickly pan to the right to reveal another character. I do appreciate the fact that the Minimax documentation actually kind of calls that out with two points. One, to enhance the dynamic movement of the scene, use camera panning to capture wider shots, adding layers of motion, or I guess in this case, characters. But they also mentioned that you can and maybe should even detail the purpose of the camera's movement. Uh, they say to describe the intention behind the camera movement to add more layers of visual storytelling. I haven't really harped on that too much, but it is something that I definitely see in a lot of AI video is like a lot of like the camera whipping all around the scene. And look, I get it, it's fun, but generally outside of like a, a you know, a Guy Ritchie movie or a Fast and the Furious movie, you usually don't see, you know, that level of hyper camera movement. I'm not gonna get into a whole film school thing on camera motivation. I have been thinking a lot about it though. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see a, a video on that. But Minimax does mention that, you know, to capture close up emotions more effectively, try using a slow dolly in to gradually focus on a subject's expression. So finally bringing, you know, the basic, the intermediate and the advanced prompt styles together. But here's our basic shot. This is the camera circles around capturing a female warrior in silver armor standing vigilantly amongst the dense forest at night. 
I mean, it's not bad, but it is obviously a kind of a plain Jane shot. She is kind of just standing there like an NPC waiting for you to hit the X button. In example two, which is kind of more of our intermediate prompt formula, uh, we have the camera starts from the moonlit forest, panning to reveal a female warrior standing proudly in the ancient ruins. The camera continuously circles around, slowly approaching, capturing the warrior's profile and focusing on her face. The camera shifts perspective seamlessly integrating the dynamic close-up of her weapons and the armor details. It obviously did not catch all of that. I mean, it is a six second shot that was kind of packed with details, but I mean, you can see where it starts, you know, with the moonlit shot. It doesn't quite get it, but it gets that pan down. It definitely picks up on, you know, the idea of moving in to her face as a close-up. Although we do get this weird bit where like her hand just kind of like spurts out some blood like she's I guess she's keeping a little blood bank in the hilt of her sword, which is weird. I'm not going to judge it, though. You know what happens to people who judge the blood sword? They end up inside the blood sword. And finally, for our more uh, you know advanced prompt, we have the camera starts slowly panning down from the mysterious sky, revealing a female warrior in silver armor standing alone in the center of a battlefield. Her eyes reflect the cold light of the moon, and in the background shows the ruins of a damaged city with scattered sparks. The camera begins to descend slowly, steadily zooming in, and her swords glimmer faintly as they are drawn from their scabbards. The background gradually dims as the camera pulls back, focusing on the warrior's silhouette. So obviously it kind of missed the back half of that prompt, but you know, for the first half, I think it did a pretty good job. We obviously got the whole like camera descending down into her eyes, which are reflecting moonlight. Editor Tim here, I totally forgot to cover the section on <laughs> consistent characters. You know, to be honest, it only kind of works, but I did want to go over it. So the formula for air quotes consistent character, according to Minimax, is hair plus age and gender plus color of the clothes plus environment plus, you know, action camera, etc. But what I've kind of found works a little bit better is to work with character archetypes. For example, here we have this noir detective in an alley. Uh, and then for additional shots, uh, I just simply kept that base prompt, but would adjust the actions within that shot. And that seemed to lead to a, a, at least a somewhat consistent character and style. Okay, let's go back to uh, Live Me. So obviously these prompts are getting fairly dense. And I should say that you don't necessarily have to prompt with, you know, kind of ultra long prompts. You can, you know, get really good results out of just using very simple and basic prompts. Like one of my favorites from the community feed, which is, is weird, uh, is a weird, scary hybrid animal plant scrawling in the dirt, practical effects, post-apocalyptic movie scene shot on Red Komodo directed by Andre Tarkovsky. Tarkovsky, if you are not aware, is a pretty legendary Russian science fiction film director. His two, I guess, like most well-known films are Solaris and Stalker. They are both very good, but they are both very long. Now, because our prompts are basically getting as long as a Tarkovsky movie, uh, one of the things that we can do is build a GPT to do that work for us. So basically what I ended up doing was taking all of that documentation, sort of formatting it up, and then training out a GPT that can write a prompt for you. So the Minimax Cinemotion prompter is available for you to use. Uh, it is linked down below. Just giving it the prompt, uh, give me a Western showdown scene, a sheriff versus a man in black and running that. We get this as a prompt, which is, you know, a pretty intense prompt. Uh, I also had it provide a Chinese translation as well, since you can run Minimax obviously with a Chinese prompt as well. There is some debate going back and forth as to, you know, better quality in a Chinese prompt versus an English prompt. I don't necessarily think so, uh, but it's here if you want to. The main reason that I have the Chinese translation is that uh, because, well, essentially Chinese is a more efficient language than English is, you can actually get a lot more detail in, uh, you know, beating the 2000 character limit if you use Chinese. Admittedly, you will probably still have to slightly adjust the prompt here and there. Like our first output came out with this where, you know, we have our man in black here. Actually, this part of the shot is really good. Uh, but, you know, obviously our sheriff is kind of a hobbit, which is a whole different film than I was thinking about going with. But nonetheless, one that I would watch. After doing a couple of quick manual edits to the prompt, uh, we did end up with this shot, which is much more in line with what I was looking for. And lastly, since we don't have image to video right now, uh, one of the things you can do 
do is just simply upload an image to the GPT and it will provide you with a prompt description for that image. Now, important to note, you won't end up obviously with a one-to-one -one of that image. It's something that's more inspired by that image, but you know, it's something of a workaround for the time being until we do get image to video. And even then, I still think that it's going to have its use case. Rounding out, I do like to showcase what the, like, the community is doing with this, just so that it kind of shows you the width of what the model is capable of. Kicking off with Brent Lynch, uh, two teenage girls in like a McDonald's as a dad with a daughter that is approaching this age. Uh, I can 100% guarantee you that the girl on the left, yeah, those emotions are completely and totally accurate. Marco gives us this running shot, which there's a little bit of decoherence at the very beginning, but I mean, that's some pretty crazy motion that's happening there. Um, that's, again, something that you really only get in text to video. This frame does not exist, gives us this claymation Superman short. Um, yeah, I'm really glad they did this because this is not an area that I delve into that much, um, but it's really cool to see that Minimax is capable of doing, you know, this style. Big fan of Wallace and Gromit back in the day, so I am really happy to see that. Josh Forward gives us this, uh, you know, kind of very romantic scene, or is it the beginning of a horror scene? I mean, I guess we're just gonna need to wait until we get the extent video function to find out. Styles Morales gave us uh, Scarlett Johansson as Aloy from the game Horizon Zero Dawn. To be honest, she comes out a little bit more like Elizabeth Olsen, probably just skirting the wrath of Scarlett here. Uh, that is a movie that I would like to see though. Over on the Discord, Zout gives us this scene of a Sasquatch walking through New York. I love this. And what I, what I really, really need is extend to happen because what is about to happen here? Dr. Pixels gives us this like gladiator lion strolling through a battlefield. This shot is chef's kiss. And Vex Voxel Raptor gives us Jared Leto wearing an It's Morbin Time t-shirt. Um, yeah, I've seen all the memes, still have not seen the movie. Really just don't want to lose an hour and a half of my life to it. So that's the latest and greatest on Minimax. There is obviously a lot more to come. We still have image to video to go and extensions. While I do realize that generations are kind of happening on the slow side right now, I mean, again, it's free, so everyone is using it. I believe currently Minimax is the only free, like completely unlimited AI video generator around. And uh, from what I've heard, you don't even need to log in via a phone number anymore. You can just go to the site and start generating. So let me know in the comments what you think of Minimax. And if there's any suggestions you guys have on the GPT, let me know and I will definitely add them in. In the meantime, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.